Welcome to episode 1271 of the Multifamily Collective. Today I wanted to talk about the skill, the skill that will set you apart uh, in business. And that is the skill of critical thinking. I think that in my gut, uh, social media and other distractions, as my phone goes off, notification, right? Those distractions in the world today are given cause for our attention spans to just get further and further away from being able to sit with long-term work, right? And I think the thing that is impacted by that is our ability to critically think. And so think about this. You sit around uh, a boardroom table as a group, you're coming up with a plan to do something, and somebody looks at you and says, hey, can you go solve this problem? You immediately think, okay, I'm going to go solve the problem, and I'm going to get it back to you. I'm going to get the solution back to you as quickly and as swiftly as I possibly can. And I don't give real attention. I don't give real critical thought to what the problem is in the first place. In other words, I don't give pure definition to the issue that I'm trying to, to solve in the first place. So I rush off to find an answer uh, to something. My advice to you is don't rush off to find an answer. Rush off, certainly, but sit down and actually critically think through what the issue is. In a perfect world, in real time, you say, what is the problem that we are trying to solve here? Right in the moment, if someone says, go solve this problem, you say back, what is the problem that we are trying to solve? What is the root issue that's giving cause for this outcome that we don't like? And get down to that and put pure definition to that before you rush off to get an answer. And then when you rush off to get an answer <laughs> and you actually go through the exercise of critically thinking about the solutions that you could, could that you could put in place to get a better outcome, you have to critically think through those solutions because you could put a solution in place that causes other problems downstream, crossstream, upstream. You may solve one thing only to create three other things that you now have to rush off to address. So you have to critically think through the solutions and all of this takes time. So my encouragement to you is become a critical thinker. If you're not a critical thinker today and you need some help with that, find a course. I'll try to find some and link them up. Find a course that helps you understand the structure of critical thinking, then exercise some critical thinking, and then find solutions and critically think through those and come back and talk about, hey, here's the thing I think we should do, but please understand that's going to cause X, Y, Z, which we may have to address, and or we at least need to telegraph and communicate to the downstream or the cross-stream groups that we're, we're going to put a solution in place that might put a burden on them. So critical thinking, it is the skill that is necessary for good business outcomes in the future. We are at a deficit for critical thinking because we are distracted by so many things these days. Figure out what you can do to get your critical thinking muscle exercised. Take care, we'll talk to you again soon.